has long been a part of traditional South Korean cuisine, but now the country's parliament is hoping to end the dog meat trade. It's passed a bill banning the breeding, slaughter and sale of dogs for their meat by 2027. Those found of breaking the new law face up to three years in jail or a massive fine, although the consumption of dog meat will not be illegal. This follows years of protests and growing public opposition to the practice. Farmers involved in the trade have said that they are planning to challenge the legislation, claiming it infringes their rights to choose their occupation. Let's get more on this from freelance correspondent uh, Frank Smith in Seoul. Uh, welcome, uh, Frank. Um, so. The breeding, banning the breeding and sell, uh, selling uh, uh, of these dogs for their meat. This is a major step for South Korea. What triggered it? Well, I think there were a lot of influences to this. Uh, certainly, attitudes amongst the public here have changed. When South Korea started hosting major international events, the country really came under criticism um, for this practice, perhaps starting with the 1988 uh, Olympics. And then as the country became a little bit more affluent, more people became pet owners. And that includes the, the first lady who, together with her husband, uh, President Yoon suk yeol own uh, a few dogs now. And the first lady, her name's Kim gyun hee she, she actually sort of campaigned almost on, on a platform of, of banning the consumption of dog meat here. So how do you do that then? Because you're, you're talking about changing a culture and you can't change a culture just by passing a, a law. Will this work? It's, it's going to be tough. As you mentioned, uh, dog meat farmers in the industry, they, uh, uh, of course, oppose this. They actually held a large demonstration last November. They're going to take the issue even to the constitutional court, not only arguing that they have the right to, you know, do what they want to, to earn a living, but people have a right to, to eat what they want. Uh, into the first half of next year, they're going to have to register their businesses, the farmers and the, the restaurant owners, and, and plan for the downsize and elimination of their businesses and, and how they're going to transition. It's, it's not going to be that easy here. Yeah, how significant is this business? And when, when dogs are being bred to eat, is it any dog or are there particular breeds that, that taste a, a certain way? Well, there are particular breeds uh, of dog that, that uh, are, are bred for consumption here, not just any, uh, any animal. There are something like a thousand farms and more than 1,500 restaurants here. Even just now, there are something like 500,000 dogs on these farms. More, the consumption of, of dogs in, in South Korea is hundreds of thousands um, on a yearly basis. Still, animal rights activists here in South Korea viewed this really as a victory for, for animal rights. And at the same time, though, they called for uh, support. They look at this legislation as actually placing some responsibility on the government to help support these farmers transition into other jobs, and that will include hopefully financial support. Thanks for that, Frank. Frank Smith, uh, journalist in Seoul.